here's a good example for demonstrating the substitution effect or displacement effect. Tomatoes can be packaged in glass jars like this, and that requires a lot of fossil emissions to get to this packaging. Or they can be packaged in tins, and metal also requires lots of fossil emissions for its production. So therefore, it's quite smart to package the tomatoes in carton with renewable material from the forest. This way, the packaging will actually displace more fossil emissions by unit of weight than what construction in wood does. So this is quite an important part of the climate effort that we need to make. It's not all the solution, but it is one important step on the way. My name is Peter Holmgren. I have a research background in forestry from the Swedish University of Agricultural Sciences. I've then worked many years internationally with forestry issues, first at the Food and Agriculture Organization, FAO, where I headed up the Global Forest Resources Assessment. And I was also the head of climate for the organization for about five years. I've also been the director general of the Center for International Forestry Research, which is based in Indonesia and works globally on forestry and uh, sustainability issues. And these days I work with the sustainability and climate matters uh, related to the forest sector and the forest industry in Sweden and in Europe. The forests can contribute in two ways. One is that we can store more carbon in the forest, and this is part of the Fit for 55 package. The other is that the forest-based products can help reduce the fossil emissions. That is the big task in Fit for 55. And we need to recognize both roles for the forest, both to store and increase the storage of carbon and the role to reduce fossil emissions. When forest products help reducing emissions in other sectors, it is because they substitute or displace other products that have higher emissions. And in that way, the products can help in the big task of the, of the climate policy, which is to reduce our fossil emissions. And that is what we call the substitution effect or displacement effect. It's always difficult to estimate because the effect from displacement occurs in other sectors than the forestry sector and it is not part of the official reporting protocols. But some estimates have been made and it points to an effect of about 10% of the total emissions from the European Union. That is, if we would not have the forest-based products, the emissions would have been 10% higher. Of course, eventually, the forest-based products, the wood-based products, will emit carbon dioxide as well, particularly when we use them for energy. But this is where we need to keep the two domains apart. One is the forest domain, where we manage the forest, we harvest wood, and the carbon is recycled to the forest, even when we include the harvesting. And that's where we also have a positive number in, in the European Union. So we should not mix that up and say that the products emit carbon dioxide as well, because that means that we will be double counting. Biodiversity is, of course, an important matter and something that we must and actually do deal with in forest management. So we need to achieve both conservation of biodiversity and contributions to the climate task. If we take a short-term perspective on climate policy, many argue that we should leave the forest to accumulate as much carbon as possible. This is a way to achieve the goals we have set out for 2030 or 2050. But the climate efforts don't stop at these points in time. It will need to continue beyond that. And forestry is a long-term endeavor. We need to invest for the long term and we can't um, 
sacrifice the, the roles that the forest-based sector has in society to achieve short, shorter-term climate goals. Thank you.